Hey, you're watching Vinyl for Miles, your best resource for music and vinyl reviews. I'm Michael, and today we're going to be talking about the Vinyl Vac. This will be a full demonstration and review. Stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a before and after with a direct stream from my turntable so you can see what this thing can really do. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to part two of the Vinyl Vac system. In part one, we did a little DIY cleaning station made out of a 12 inch Lazy Susan you can get for 10 bucks off Amazon, some non-slip mat, a 10 cent screw, and a slip mat if you have one lying around. This thing costs less than 30 bucks to make. You can put your records on it, spin it around, clean it all you want. Great stuff. If you saw part one, thanks for watching. If you didn't see part one, go ahead and jump back if you want to create this to pair it with the Vinyl Vac system. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the Vinyl Vac system. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, the best way to clean your record is with a vacuum system. You do a wet clean and use the vacuum system to pull up all that crud that's sitting in the grooves of your record. Only problem with those, as I mentioned before, extremely expensive. So what can you do to clean your records on the cheap? Audiophiles, collectors, vinyl enthusiasts for $30, you can't beat this. If you already have a wet dry vac or a shop vac, that's all you gotta spend. If you don't have one, you can go to Walmart, pick one up for 30 bucks. You could go on Craigslist, try to get one cheaper. The only thing this thing needs is suction and a vacuum that can take wetness. You know what I mean? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move into my kitchen. We're gonna take a look at everything the starter pack comes with. We're gonna fire it up. We're gonna clean two records of mine and I'm gonna use some older records in this so I can actually stream the audio for you guys. Uh, here's everything you're gonna need to clean your records with the vinyl vac system. You're gonna need something to clean the records on. It can be an older turntable. They recommend a direct drive, not belt drive for this. You're gonna need the vinyl vac system. You're going to want to pick up an edger. This is used mostly for painting, but there's nice little soft bristles in there that can penetrate deep into the grooves. You're gonna want a four inch foam brush. And the most important piece, you're going to want a shop vac. Make sure it is a wet, dry one. It has to be able to handle liquid. Now let's dive into what the vinyl vac system comes with. I got the starter pack here. So it came with the hose piece, most important part. It comes with an instructional manual that outlines all of the steps needed to get your records sounding nice and clean. It comes with two replacement felt strips and it picks up all the dust and lint on the record. It comes with this felt disc that goes over the label so you don't scratch your label when you're using the vacuum system. It also comes with these two pieces here where you can adjust the amount of suction. I typically like a stronger suction on my records. So I'm gonna leave it as is. It comes with this piece here that attaches to the hose on your wet dry vac. If your shop vac has a larger hose, you can actually pop this piece off and put the O-ring right here and it will fit perfect. What you're gonna need for the cleaner is I took one gallon of distilled water, I poured half of it out so it's at half a gallon. I dumped the entire bottle in there. I stirred it up a little bit. I let it sit for 24 hours and then I poured it into this sprayer right here. And you're also gonna need some distilled water. I'm gonna put some distilled water in a Tupperware bin. All right, now let's assemble the vacuum system. First thing we're gonna do is take the hose from your wet, dry shop vac. You're gonna put the provided O-ring over the hose. This will create the seal when you attach the vinyl vac to the hose. Perfect. All right, the next thing you're gonna need is your record. We're gonna do two records today. We're taking this world's greatest music album number one, and I believe this is one of like 50, and we're also going to be cleaning my Beethoven string quartet. And the reason I'm using such old records is so I can actually play the music for you guys and not get any copyright strikes on it. All right, so let's get this started. I have my World's Greatest Music Volume 1 right here. First thing I'm gonna do is attach the label saver. This is going to protect the label from any wetness as we do this wet clean. The second thing I'm gonna do is quickly just brush off some of the loose lint that is on here. Because again, this is very, very old. All right. Now, we're going to fully saturate the record with the vinyl juice. By the way, this is not called vinyl juice, I just call it vinyl juice. What you're gonna do too is take some of the vinyl juice and spray it onto your pad, like so. 
and we're gonna start cleaning it. So here we go. We're gonna go in both directions. Once you put the edger on here, it actually locks into the grooves pretty well. So there's not really a whole lot you need to do. And then we're actually going to back it out and go backwards, get deep inside these grooves. All right, now that this is nice and wet, what we're going to do is take our four inch foam brush and saturate it in distilled water. And we're gonna to try to clean a little bit of this off. Now what this does, it should lift the solution off and make sure that brush is nice and wet. All right, that looks about right. Take off the label saver, whatever you're using to protect your label, comes right off. And we're gonna attach the felt pad that's provided on the label. We're going to line up the vinyl back. Now you can stick the hole right here goes right over the spindle. If you're cleaning on an old turntable or your turntable at home, it should be able just to attach right on there. And go ahead, fire up your shop vac. And then we're gonna spin in one direction. And we're gonna reverse this. And I gotta tell you, I don't think this record has been this clean in about 30 years. <laughs> this is crazy clean. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. All right, audio aside, I'm blown away by how clean this record is. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a before and after picture and show you guys. All right, I'm gonna pop on my Beethoven one next. Let's clean that. All right, we have my Beethoven record on. We're gonna put the label saver directly on. That is nice and wet. I'm gonna go backwards now. Okay, we're gonna take, again, distilled water with the foam brush and let's go ahead and get this saturated in some distilled water so we can pull up and get that cleaning solution right off. Nice and clean. Let's go ahead and pop off the label saver. Something to mention that you can also do is you don't have to put this directly over the spindle. You can actually rest it right next to it and adjust the distance. Look at this, oh my God. This is so clean. Both of my records cleaned. Let's do a before and after. I'm gonna pop this on the turntable and let's see what it sounds like.
So there you have it. You heard the before, what the record sounded like, dirty pulled out of the sleeve after 30 years, and after. This vinyl vac system, it really works. I mean, you be the judge. Leave some comments below. What did you think? Do you think it sounded better? Do you think the system actually works? I sure as hell do. I'm not going to be afraid to dive into the thrift store bins now and pick up some older records because this will clean them up. It doesn't necessarily get rid of every pop and click because, again, we're talking about 30-year-old records here, but it made a huge difference. I think it's worth the money. Check it out. Check out the links below. I have a link to Amazon, the Vinylback website, and see for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. If you like this, check out my other videos and give me a subscribe. If you did not like this, I'm so sorry you wasted your time getting this far into the video. All right, until next time, thanks guys.